And yeah, excuse my hair, we just got back from the pool and it's a million degrees outside and I'm basically melting. And the background, we just moved here like a couple weeks ago. We're still in the process of decorating this room. So yeah, it's super like bleh, in the background, but we can get over that. What did you find? Landon's like digging through my makeup. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so first things first, um, I'll start off with Target. Um, I've never really purchased anything from the Sonia Kashuk line. I think I own maybe like two things and I own a brush and something else. I, okay, whatever, that doesn't matter. Um, anyway, most of her things are fairly cheap, but some of them are a bit pricier, like this one quad. I don't know why I got it, but it was so pretty. And I looked at it once and then I couldn't stop looking at it, so I got it. It was $12.99, which is pretty expensive for drugstore makeup, but I couldn't resist. So it's just this eyeshadow quad right here. It's in number 16, Shimmering Sands, and it's like magnetic. Okay, so you get these four shades, which, yeah, I know, super plain of me, are all really neutral, but I wanted, like, a really pretty lid shade. Um, in my Urban Decay Naked palette, I've basically used all of Virgin and Sin, so, yeah, I wanted new colors. Um, on my lids today, I'm wearing these two colors. You do have to wear a tackier base underneath, otherwise, with this shade right here, you get a ton of fallout. The pigmentation is nice, but um, the two more matte shades are pretty sheer. This one's nice, but this one here is pretty sheer. But I mean, three out of the four isn't bad. This, the fourth one isn't awful, but it could definitely be better. The next thing I got was a nail polish, which I have on my nails right now. Don't mind them. I have like chicken McNugget nails. They're super short and stubby and gross. They were really long and then one broke, so I had to cut all of them and then I wanted to play with more of my polishes, so it's like an awful French manicure, not even French, just bleh, looking puke on my nails, I guess, but the actual silver color, don't mind them, they're so short, I know. That's one coat, it's like so opaque, and for some reason I didn't own a silver polish, my hair is driving me insane, I have like a comb over. Anyways, um, this is in the color Smoke and Mirrors, um, I've only had this on for a day, so I can't say the like wear power on it, but the actual pigmentation and opacity is incredible. She had like a really pretty... Um, all the green color that I want to go back for. I think these were like three to four dollars. The last Sonia Kashuk product I picked up is a super sheer liquid tint in 03 Poppy. And this product will definitely last forever. 0.57 fluid ounces, but I seriously use like half a pump. That was way too much. But it comes out looking like this, and then once you rub it out, it turns sheer like on your hand, but on your cheeks you get way more color. What I'll do is pump a tiny tiny bit onto a flat top stippling, stippling brush and just apply that onto my cheeks and I feel like it's definitely more of a stain, but rubbing it in it looks like that. So that's it for Sony Kasha. The other things at Target, I don't know what the deal is, but I've been like breaking out on my chin area lately and I don't know if it was my other moisturizers or what. I don't think it is, it's just like hormones and the humidity is ridiculous here. I heard a lot about this moisturizer, so I want to try it out. It's from Clean and Clear. It's a dual action moisturizer. Basically, it's a moisturizer with salicylic acid in it. I always want to say salicylic. Salicylic acid in it, so it helps like treat pimples. I definitely did notice a difference. It did help shrink. The smell is kind of like a citrusy smell, and it has a pump. It's four fluid ounces. This was under $5, I believe. I could totally be wrong. I suck at like memorizing prices, but yeah, I'm loving this so far. I've been using it for about two weeks, something like that. Okay, next, again with my nails. They've been so dry. Like I've used so many different cuticle balms and nothing helps. Like Plus a nervous habit, I always like pick the sides of my nails so I get awful hang nails and they're just gross. I think I saw this on like Dulce Candy's video a while ago. It's from Essie. It's a smooth trick deep conditioning cuticle oil. This smells like peppermints. I love this stuff. It really just like dissolves any like hang nails or cuticles. Um, if you have dry rough edges, you just kind of rub it into the sides of your nails and it gets rid of them. It's awesome. But the applicator just looks like this and this part like squishes once it touches the surface and the oil seeps out. That sounds disgusting. And uh, I'm not even sure if I've showed this before. I feel like I have, but I've had it for a while. So just in case I didn't, this is the Milani Baked Bronzer in 04 Glow. It's just bronze with like gold ribboning throughout it. I love this bronzer. I've been wearing it like every day. It's right there. So for how much product you get, I feel like it's worth it. Um, the packaging, you do get a mirror and a little brush underneath. 
The concealer I've been using every day for the last two weeks is from Rimmel. It's the Match Perfection Skin Ad Skin Tone Adapting Concealer. But Basically, it's a concealer and highlighter in one. I got mine the lightest shade. It's in Fair Light. The applicator is not that impressive. I don't know what it is about these. They kind of gross me out. I feel like it's not very hygienic, so I'll like squeeze them out onto a little glass plate and use it that way. But yeah, I definitely do feel like it is a highlight as well. I've been using it under my eyes, and I must say for under eye concealer, this is probably one of the best ones I've used. For like blemishes and stuff, it's not that impressive. But like I said, under your eyes and around your nose, um, I've been loving it. And they do make this in the in a foundation as well. So I'm kind of interested to see how that is. And I just got this one from C. And then I picked up another Revlon Super Luscious Lip Gloss. If you watch my videos, you know I'm obsessed, obsessed with these. I think I have every shade now except for like the clear one with glitter in it. But this is in Peach Petal. Every time I went to get them, they, they were always sold out of this. So if you're looking for like a good nude lip gloss, I definitely recommend this one. This is definitely like my favorite lip gloss, like drugstore, high-end, everything combined. Like I just love these lip glosses. The packaging, the formulation, everything about them. The only thing is the smell. Like it smells like bubbles. I hate, oh, I don't know. I just don't like the smell. But that's the color right there. So it's just a really pretty nude color. Oh, yeah. And then a new mascara I picked up. Uh, my new favorite like combination is getting my Maybelline XXL Pro Extensions. Applying that and then applying falsies and then this. This like really helps to separate your lashes. It's the one by one volume express. Landon's like chatting it up over there. <laughs> but yeah, as usual, I get it in waterproof just to help hold up my lashes. Um, I know lots of people are like, oh, well, waterproof eyelash or waterproof mascara like dries out my eyelashes and breaks them off. I've only had that problem with one mascara, Great Lash by Maybelline, and then the not the regular falsies, but like the dramatic or whatever, the one that has the lace design, that one does break off my lashes. But I haven't noticed that problem with this one, and I love the brush on this. It's a rubber brush, and it just has these tiny, tiny little combs, so it really helps separate your lashes. I know this is old news, but whatever. From Ulta, I only got two things. I watched one of Carly Chrisman's videos a while ago, and she showed this nail polish. I fell in love with it, and I'd actually seen it a couple times, but just didn't ever bother picking it up. If you're looking for like the perfect Tiffany's Blue nail polishes, this is like better than for Audrey, like any other like pastel blue polish. This is definitely the best. Um, I think it take one coat is good but two coats if you really want it like opaque and it's from essence and it's in the color you belong to me you can get these at ulta for 99 cents so a 90 cent i'm throwing things a 99 cent nail polish that looks that good um i've had it i had it on my nails the other day but i change my nails like every other day i do still have it on my toes and the lasting power is good so yeah if you've been looking for a good pastel blue nail polish i'd recommend this one and the last thing i got from ulta is from laura geller it's the balance and brighten baked color correcting foundation um this only comes in three shades i got mine in medium one of, I guess, the Laura Geller reps or whatever was at that Ulta um, for a beauty event. And she did basically did like my whole face. And I really wanted the kit. There was a kit that came with, um, oh my God, my hands are like greasy. I just put on lotion. Now I can't open this box. Seriously? Okay. All right. Um, the kit came with like a makeup primer and a blushing foundation and all this other stuff. I really want to go back for one of the blushes. Like the blushes are beautiful. But so I just got the foundation. Um, as you can see, it's just like this baked marbleized foundation. So it almost looks like there's a highlight in there as well. But I don't know what it is about these colors all mixed together. It seriously does brighten your skin. I feel like you could use a ton of this. Like you wouldn't need to. And your face still wouldn't look cakey. I don't know. I definitely think for my wedding makeup, I will be using this as my setting powder. And then the last of the haul is from Cosmoprof. If you're not familiar with Cosmoprof, basically it's like a beauty supply store, but you have to either be um, a cosmetology student or a lic licensed cosmetologist, esthetician, nail tech, anything like that. So yeah, I found one here in town and it is amazing. Like... There was so much there, I had to control myself. But basically, I've been wanting to color my hair. Um, if you watched my last couple of videos, I did dye my hair darker, but it was a demi-permanent color um, by Pravada. Pravana? Pravada? Why can't I remember that name? I never tried that line before. You know, I tried it out, and I definitely like Redken Shade Demi-Permanent way better than that. I just felt like this last one did not last as long as at all. Like, you can already see the lighter 
brown and little blonde streaks in here. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but in real life, it's a lot lighter than what it looks. So I want to just go back to my darker natural color. Well, not natural color, but just back to a dark brown. They had the Chi, and I really wanted to try the Joico color as well, but I haven't used permanent hair color in a while. I normally don't like to just because I don't like putting actual, like, developer in my hair you know with demi permanent you can normally just use a cream but whatever like after looking at this the girl there had her hair done in the rusk line as well and i loved it so i picked these up um i just picked it up level three and level four nc dark brown medium brown and then i picked up a tube of violet i think i'm just gonna mix some violet in there just because i feel like when it hits the sun it'll have a lot prettier tint so i'm gonna be doing that maybe tonight or tomorrow so hopefully that works out well i've never used rusk color before so with that I picked up just a volume 10 developer um, and then obviously with that I left like all my mixing bowls and brushes at home so I just picked up some Cricut brushes clippies and just one mixing bowl and a pack of gloves okay everything else is more exciting um, I ran out of all of my bed head conditioner and shampoo so I needed new shampoo and conditioner I was just using some stuff from the drugstore but I don't know my hair is so thick and coarse I need a better heavy-duty conditioner so I picked up the Joyco color indoor they had um, two of the one liter bottle shampoo and conditioner I believe for $14 so that's like seven bucks a bottle that's a good deal and yeah I used this shampoo a long time ago I haven't used it in a while though but I do love Joyco products somebody asked for a beach waves tutorial a while ago and I had some of my bumble and bumble sea salt spray left I thought but no not so much or I forgot it so I just picked up one of these sea salt texturizing sprays from Aquage just a little tiny bottle but it's two fluid ounces and then I picked up a Chi Silk Infusion. I used to use this stuff religiously, and then once I ran it out, ran out, I guess I just completely forgot about it. So the this is like the smaller bottle, but this one even lasts. Okay, hopefully my camera will be stopping lame. Let me finish filming this. Okay, so I showed the Chi Silk Infusion. Um, last three things, I picked up some polishes because I need them right now. Not really. I actually just went through the drawer, and I think I had over 70, which is kind of ridiculous, but... Not really, because there's so many different colors, and I know there's like a million other people out there that have way more than me. So getting into it, um, I've been using the Sachet Beat Top Coat, the Dry Fast Top Coat, and I feel like every time it gets like halfway down in the bottle, it gets like goopy and thick, and then it doesn't work as well. Like, it's been peeling on the sides. Oh, can we have the light on, please? No. No? Okay, apparently not. So, yeah, it's just been like lifting on the side and my polish has just been pulling off my nail in one big piece and it just hasn't been doing its job. Nah, not impressed. I think that was like the second or third bottle I've been through and thank you. Okay, strobe light. <laughs> and so, yeah, I want to try a new top coat. I was asking the girl and she said she swore by this one. So it's from C and D color, super shiny high gloss top coat and it's like in this size huge bottle and it's pink so it sold me instantly it's like a little plum um but I feel like pink top coats tend to have more of like a prettier glossy finish anyway and then um at Cosmoprof OPI polishes um retail for $4.25 and trying to glaze for $3.50 but they had tons of nail polishes that were on sale I seriously had to hold back because there were so many that I wanted. I was so good and I only got two. But the first one is from China Glaze. I had a pedicure a long time ago and I picked this color and I really liked it. So this one was on sale for $1.99 and it's in the shade Rich and Famous. So it's just this really pretty pink. And then it's from OPI. I don't know what collection this came out in, but it's called Glow Up Already. Maybe a Christmas collection? I don't know. Have I been out of frame this whole time? Whatever. Okay, so it's just like this really finely milled glitter. There's like yellow, green, red, blue, all different colors. Looks just like that. So I thought that was gorgeous. So that's it for my haul. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and film September favorites. Maybe, maybe not. Is it too late? You guys let me know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now that we're like finally here and settled, video should be back on schedule. Yeah. Um, and I'm a loser and I have like no friends here. So yeah, I should have plenty of time for videos. So that's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Why am I talking with my hands? And if you're new, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.